Well, John, you've had no Tuesday game, so what's the week look like for you and the lads? Yeah, just back to a normal week. So we've had a full week of training, which is which is great. I think we've had a couple of those since I've been in, and yeah, nice to be out on the pitch with with you know close to a full complement of players, and yeah, a really good opportunity to get some um, biggest bigger sort of themes into the players and um, really work on a couple of the couple of the areas that we want to improve and a couple of the the areas that we are very strong in um, again as we have been over the past few weeks and just nailing those things down. So nice to get a full week with the guys just um, just yeah to keep pressing on. Yeah, just in slightly more detail, what have you been focusing on with, with the guys whilst you had the chance to, to get on the grass with them? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, it'll be slightly generic, but both sides of the game, we're looking at how we are out of possession and how we are in possession as well. I think particularly one of the things that we were disappointed with at the weekend was a couple of those moments, the opportunities in the final third particularly, where we didn't quite create enough. And it was just through, I think, a lack of care on the ball and... Um, sometimes a lack of options so what we have been focusing on particularly on the in possession side is what we do when we are in possession in the middle and the final third making sure there are more options making sure we take care of the ball emphasizing possession and how important it is and, and making sure that it's purposeful as well Cheltenham this weekend what are you expecting from them? I think a, a really good side they're, they're, they've um, they picked up their league form quite a bit recently and pulled themselves away from the from the relegation zone and then I think for anyone that watched the game on Tuesday night where they played Plymouth away a uh, side that we obviously played recently and lost to. Cheltenham gave them a run for their money and only lost on penalties. So we expect a very well organised, a very strong side. They've got some really excellent individual players in there and, and I think they'll be um, very solid. Uh, I expect a very, very ter- a stern test at the weekend. Ronan Curtis made his return from injury against Lincoln. How much did he impress you? Yeah, I mean, Ronan's impressed me massively since he came into since I came into the building and he didn't start the first game, but then he, he came he came into the side, I think, on that Tuesday night against Exeter and he was, he was brilliant that night. I'm sorry, against Fleetwood. And he was excellent that night. He was, you know, he was dominant. Uh, he was very unlucky not to score when he hit the post in the second half. And unfortunately, he then turned his ankle and ended up uh, hobbling off and was out for three weeks. So that was a big miss. And yeah, Ronan coming back, he was, he was all action again at the weekend. He got himself involved in the game. He had two really good chances and Ronan was really disappointed not to put either of those away. But I think, in all honesty, one was a very good block and the other one was a, was an excellent save from a good young goalkeeper. So I, I think that Ronan's just very, very keen to impress. He's very, very keen to do well and that's great. That's the sort of attribute they want from a player. And I think all of the Portsmouth fans know what Ronan's all about when he's at his peak and, and we're really trying hard to get him back there. And just finally, latest injury news, sort of the latest on, on Clark Robertson, Jay Mingy and, and Tom Lowry as well. Yeah, so I, th- I think if you uh, rank them in order of how close they are to, f- to a full return, um, Tom is probably the closest of the three and Tom's been training with us for a couple of weeks now. So I'd always said we'll get to the back end of this week we- this week and assess where he is going into this block of games coming up that we have over the next three weeks. So we'll look at where Tom is from a physical perspective after training tomorrow, have a chat with the sport and exercise de- department and the physiotherapy department and, and go from there. Uh, but it's exciting to have Tom back. Uh, Jay, on the same on the same note, really exciting to have him back. He's probably maybe a week behind Tom in terms of where he is in his rehab and hasn't been training with us quite as long as Tom has. But again, exactly the same protocol with Jay, making sure we, we get him back and we get him back right. And then Clark's probably another um, week or two behind those two, hopefully going to join in training tomorrow, um, doing a couple of um, light passing drills and a bit of a, a bit of a warm-up with everybody, just getting back reintegrate, reintegrated into the squad because he's been a big miss. And if we, yeah, if we can get Clark back, um, then yeah, it's, it's another step towards where we want to be. Any fresh concerns, or is it a clean bill of health apart from that? Yeah, a clean bill of health apart from that. The uh, the the same injuries from from last week. Obviously, Marlon, we know is going to be out for a number of weeks. Um, Zach's making sure that he comes back and he's and he's strong. He's doing his a lot of rehab work and making sure that groin is strengthened. But Zach's still probably a week or two away. Uh, I think apart from that, we we're all set to go.